السلام عليكم and hi I be to all my fellow friends and uh, Dr. Tumir Aimi Okay, today our group will uh, present about the investigation on androgenesis in stogen fish Okay, before I start my presentation, uh, I would like to introduce my group member uh, The first one is uh, Muhammad Nabil, uh, Muhammad Haziq, uh, Ahmad Hadi Zafran, uh, Lukman Hakim, Muhammad Nur Aiman Muhammad Yusuf Izman and me Muhammad Zulkhairi and Mat Zaki. Okay, uh, I will start uh, the presentation. The introduction for the androgenesis is induced androgenesis is a method to produce uh, individuals whose development is controlled by the paternal chromosomes alone without participating maternal nuclear heredity. Heredity. Two steps should be performed to produce diploid androgenesis, namely the maternal chromosome set has to be destroyed and the paternal doubled. The significance of the androgenesis is raised by the fact that although the technique of sperm cryopreservation has been well developed, the, pro the problem of long-term storage of eggs and embryos still remains to be solved in numerous animals including fish. This paper consists of main parts which are the first reviews is the main result of our investigation of induced androgenesis in sturgeon fish. In a long term studies on induced androgenesis in fish, the method used as ray to inactivate X chromosome and uh, a heat shock to cause the block of the first meiotic cleavage and diploidization of androgenetic haploid embryos. Applying this technique can obtain viable androgenetic progenies in a number of teleos fishes. Then, a method of dispermic androgenesis that have developed in sturgeon include genetic inactivation of eggs via insemination with concentrated for the example are weakly dilute sperm and the heat shot and that facilitated the fusion of male chronuclear. Next, the investigation was to produce uh, interspecific androgenesis between different surgeon species, uh, interspecific deployed androgenesis represents a way to restore an extinct species if its sperm is available. Okay, thank you Kairi for the good introduction for our case study and now I will continue to the methodology. I'm Nabil and I will explain about the first methodology that used in androgenesis in fish sturgeon okay uh, for the first one uh, the female eggs were accelerated at 2 to 0 g1 and then uh, the eggs and the sperm uh, were inseminated with each other uh, that means inseminated inseminated means that uh, the eggs that were irradiated at 2 to 0 GY will uh, inseminated or fertilized with the sperm and the lastly uh, become uh, a haploid eggs Be uh, before we do a heat shock uh, that, that means uh, I explain the uh, the things that we have uh, x-ray the uh, the female eggs before uh, we fertilize uh, both uh, sperm and sperm and the female eggs. Uh, so the 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 heat shock, uh, the heat shock activity will explain by Lukman Hakim at the next video. Assalamualaikum to all my fellow friends and my lovely lecturer Dr. Ton Aimi Minti Jafar. Okay, now I will continue the method from Mr. Nabil just now. Okay, the haploid egg, we can get a heat shock that is 37 degrees Celsius, about 2 minutes and a half that was applied within the period from 1.4 to 1.6 TO after insemination TO is the one of the unit uh, equal same with the labile period uh, which equals the length of one mitotic cycle during Cyronos cleavage division so 1.4 to 1.6 TO is the best unit that can give a heat shock 
to the haploid eggs. Next, the native sperm was used to produce haploid androgenesis in different stages species. Native sperm is the original sperm from the broodstock, but we give to the different uh, fish species, and the result it can give a one hundred percent fish is male homozygous that is uh, referred to particular gene on both chromosome and inbreeding inbreeding uh, that's mean uh, we use the same species from the blood stocks until the result that we get hello i'm Ayman uh, number battery s four eight nine two one uh, I want to present to you about the result of the thesis uh, based on the data. Uh, result was successful. Right? Uh, firstly, all embryos developed from irradiated but unshocked it were determined to be abnormal haploid. Second, the heat shock applied to embryos developed from irradiated AIDS result in restoring diploidy and hatching normal androgenetic larvae. Uh, thirdly, uh, as compared with the native sperm group, uh, cryopreservation decreased the fertilization rate and embryo survival. And the last one is relative motility of androgenetic stellar stages developed from cryopreserved sperm become lower after hatching. That's all from me. Thank you. Alright. Assalamualaikum and very good morning. I am Haziq S48348 and now I want to present about the result from a previous slide. So, we look at the fertilization in percent. We look at the native from uh, still it is around 50 and is lowest than native from Russian uh, is around 51 and we look native uh, still it combined with beluga is around uh, 53 and lastly we look at the native from Russian combined with Siberian sturgeons is very low from the other so we can conclude uh, in fertilization uh, the lowest is the native from Crucian combined with Siberian sturgeons and next uh, we look at the M moving embryo in percent firstly native from stellar is around uh, 30 uh, is higher than from native from Crucian is around 21 look at this so uh, the thirdly, native from stellate combined with beluga is around 41. Look at this. And is the lower from then uh, native from Russian combined with Siberian sturgeon. So, we can conclude uh, in moving embryo, the highest percent is from native Russian combined with Siberian sturgeon. Uh, so, the result from this thesis is successful. Uh, haploid be a deployed. Uh, so, just that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ahmad Adi Zafran bin Ma'adani. Based on the journal that we read, uh, the discussion and the conclusion is procedure to which the AIDS and sperm are subjected during androgenesis can exert cumulative action both on the chromosome and cell cytoplasm. Second, we applied this approach to sturgeon fish. Its result in decreasing in embryo survival in haploid androgenetic stellate sturgeons and stellate X beluga sturgeon androgenetic hybrid. Third, with gamut of the Russian and Siberian sturgeon, the availability of androgenetic haploid embryos developed from either native or even better in control groups than in native groups. My name is Muhammad Yusuf Izman bin Muhammad Azmi and my metric number is S48098. Okay, to continue from the discussion and conclusion earlier, a difference in mutation rates in spermatozoa of the Siberian and the Russian surgeon and the Stellar and Beluga surgeon is likely to be due to the difference for the level of the species. 
for example, the Russian and the Siberian surgeons are tetrapod, whereas the Stellet and the Beluga surgeons are diplod species, having 214 and 118 chromosomes respectively. The sex composition in androgenetic progeny is of a great importance in male heterogametry, which is SY for male and SX for female, which is an inherent in many spe fish species. Despermic androgenesis allow production of bisexual progeny consisting of regular SY males and SX females, as well as exotic YY males. Male homogametry, which is ZZ for males and YZ for females, result in androgenetic progeny being monoset, uh, monoset male, which is ZZ. In this case, the regular reproduction of fish species restored by the androgenesis is impossible and additional manipulation, for example, in this case, we use sex inversion technique uh, to be applied.